Today's every disused station will be coming to you from somewhere on this map. You'll note it's highly detailed, highly accurate, and the scale is probably down to the millimetre. So, roll the intro. Steph still hasn't done the intro. Really? Yeah. Ooh. It's a bit embarrassing really, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, this is now the third one that we're doing. And still no intro. Awkward. Mm. Um, right, proper, proper good morning, everybody. Morning. Um, we haven't said where we are yet. I think we've just done the, done the intro and done the bit. So maybe, we, maybe we need to nip back home and uh, say exactly where we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we decided to have a slightly more casual one this weekend and go slightly more local. And by that, we mean, start down here, just north of South Southampton, and head up what was the Andover and Road Bridge Railway. So, not many stations, just a bit of a relaxing one. Um, yeah. Take our time and have a leisurely stroll. A weekend off mm -hmm. as you were right so as we discussed we are walking along the what is called the Sprat and Winkle line which is the Andover to Redbridge line or if you're a little bit further afield the Andover to Southampton line um, give or take um, and we're doing one of the every disused but we're having a very relaxing every disused right mm -hmm. yep seems that way we've even got the dog with us got the dog with us and everything the ones that we've done previously to this have been properly, properly manic, haven't they? <laughs> Just a little bit. We've done like 48 hours and we've done 30 to 35 stations per trip um, and just manic. So intense is the word. Yeah. A little bit intense. So we thought we'd take the time today to do a slower walk. Um, and as I say, we wanted today to be relaxing and just us and the dog and a lovely little walk because it's a beautiful day. Oh, oh yeah. Unlike yesterday. Yes. So first stop was Mottis Font, which is about 100 yards that way. We've done a little overlay of the house. Um, As we drove past. Yeah. And that was the last stop on this section of the line on the south route before it joined um, onto the Romsey line between Romsey and Salisbury. Um, not a lot to tell you about the Mottis Font station. It still stands today. It's very picturesque. It's a private house. <laughs> There's not much there that looks to be... Um, railway orientated but the building is still standing which is very nice yes. we're gonna head that way now to Horsebridge oh Horsebridge station yeah yeah Horsebridge used to be um, a cafe didn't it? yes they closed it now it's not now they still do events I think they still do weddings and things there okay but I don't think it's open to the public anymore so Excuse the sun. We're now about 100 yards south of uh, Horsebridge. Bourbon's got a stick. Bourbon's got a massive stick. Maybe a it was a bit stick. too big. It was a bit too big. <laughs> He's trying to I kill the stick. I'm a smaller one on my way past. <laughs> so yeah, Horsebridge just coming up. Um, as Rebecca said earlier, it's now a wedding venue um, or event venue that does weddings. Yes, yes. Um, and as I said, they've got quite a lot of um, memorabilia. Private residence and uh, wedding venue. Tick. 
Right, where's next? Fullerton. Fullerton Bridge Station slash Fullerton Junction. A little bit of both. Yeah, there were two. This is, um, this is Fullerton Junction, it's not Fullerton Junction. We're probably about 300 yards south of Fullerton Junction now, um, where the Mayfly, is it Mayfly? Yeah, Mayfly pub is, on the, on the corner, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. You sit right on the test, still on the test way. Um, and yeah, two, 300 yards south of Fullerton Junction. So we'll be there in a few minutes. Right, so that was Fullerton Junction. Um, 100, 200 yards north of that was Fullerton Bridge Station, which was the original station. As I say, we've done another video whilst we've been out and out today. Um, so although we've done hardly any stations for the Every Disuse Station, we have ticked off a view. We've had a lovely walk, and we've also learnt some history about Fullerton Junction Station. Yes. And the fact that it was basically a glorified insurance policy. Yep. Does that sound about right? They built it just in case. Just in case. Um, seven mile stretch of railway. Um, two big old stations, two massive goods yards. Um, all is a just in case. Um, anyway. Anyway, yeah. You want to go to that video? If yeah. You want to see that one. That video. We're going to do that one first, aren't we? So that will be a thing. Yeah. That video. <laughs> um, so you yeah. You haven't already seen it, obviously. So we've done a handful of stations today. We're going to do some drive-bys on, um, well, it's drive-bys as such. We'll do some footage on um, Long Parish and Whirlwall. Mm -hmm. um, we'll show you a couple of clips of Clatford too, because yeah. that has a sort of a, a couple of, I want to say old sleepers, but they're sleepers and a couple of rails, I think. It's where the steps are, isn't it? It's like steps. Yeah. The so yeah. there's Clatford and then on up to Andover Town. Yeah. Um, so this won't be a huge long video. It's just a uh, few short snippets of us walking and having a bit of a relaxing every disused station rather than uh, running about and doing 32 in two days. You've got to have one or two every so often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so probably back to um, the car and then on to the next ones. Okay. Last leg of the journey now. Are you the right side? I've, I've got a clue. I'm so confused. Uh, are you Ant or my deck? Does that make I you Ant and me deck? I don't know. Or am I, I a deck and you Ant? Does this feel better? I think this might be the right way around. Okay. So we're on the last leg of the journey now, which means we're approaching the A303, which is obviously just circumnavigates the south side of Andover. So that's where we are now, and we're heading towards obviously the last stop, which was Andover Town Station. A lot of the whole of this Bratton Winkle from Mottisfont north, give or take a little bit between Fullerton and Clatford, is walkable. There's a lot you can walk on. Um, it says cycle path up there, but I didn't realise it was a, a cycle way or cycle path, but either way. I thought it was just a path yeah. that you could, could cycle on if you wanted to. <laughs> Would that be a bridle way? I don't know, could it? Or a football if you can't necessarily cycle on, can you? No, I suppose not. Or use a horse or something. 
Yes. I'm not an expert in all that. It's not a bridleway you can, isn't that the point of it? You're being called a bridleway. Yeah, you exactly. And therefore you can use a bike as well. Yeah. Pedal bike, push bike, whatever you call it. So next time, the next video we'll be releasing after this one is another every disuse station, which we're filming. Um, probably best description is east of Southampton and east northeast of Southampton. So we're going to do an old Bishop's Wolf and Branch line. We're going to do um, the line that went up from I want to say Botley to Alton. Uh, maybe all to Bays and Stoke, that was a light railway. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of that area. Yep. You, you agree? Yep, just missing all the massive pile of mud. Sorry, <laughs> piles of mud. It's dry as well. It's supposed to be dry, it's supposed to be um, okay like this on Saturday. Okay. And Sunday's supposed to be like glorious. Glorious? Yeah. Okay. Right, like, subscribe, share, um, all those other things. Yes. Uh, hit the notification bell <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, if you enjoy our videos. Thank you for watching.